What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. I have here something amazing. It's not mine specifically, but Hyrus, one day before the patch notes, the patch preview, or whatever you want to call it, the stream, they decided to release the lore cinematic Dark Tides. This does not just bring to the table how Dredge looks like, but it also brings to the table his weapon, also a piece of the lore, and it explains Dragon's Call completely. Like, this is just crazy. So, what we're gonna do is, the the video has one, one minute. We're gonna put the video to play all of it together. And by the end of the video, I will be going just to the most important parts and try to explain what's going on. Because I've seen this lure very many, many times now, and it's amazing. So, let's just cut right into it. Let's see it together. And uh, if you have seen it, if you liked it, just let me know down in the comments. What do you think about the animations, the lure that Hyrus is doing? Do you think they're better at it now or worse? Let's know. Let's know that. And now, let's see the video. See you guys in a couple one minute and a fifteen. The paladins rejoiced. The warders' relics were secured, and with them, victory. Until he attacked the most feared pirate of the eight oceans, drawn to the ancient power the paladins carry. On the open water, none could challenge Admiral Dredge. The paladins were routed. The weapon seized for Dredge's treasure hoard. A dragon chooses its master. And Dredge was found lacking. He sank into the depths until he was leagues from the land of the living. But the pirate was far from death. The Abyss bore Dredge back into the realm atop its warring tentacles. The Undead Admiral sails the seas again, and none will take his treasure. Alright, so right off the bat we know the name, it's Dark Tides. We're gonna take the sound here really quick and we're gonna go through some of the things that I've noticed. First of all, um, this is Dragon's Call for those who don't know, that's the place where we play the event mode. And we get to the conclusion that actually the part of Paladins, they were the ones who succeeded. Khan, who went there as well, did not succeed it apparently, and they secured this weapon. This looks like to be a glove, almost with the form of a dragon, to be honest. And apparently this controls somehow the dragon that we see in Dragon's Call. You see that during the, the event mode where we're playing, there's a head there. And we later on see it when he comes out of the mountain, right here. He comes out of the mountain, apparently seeking for his owner, which it is the person who stole the glove. In this case, it was Dredge. But... A dredge wasn't powerful enough to control the dragon and ended up dying. But then let's just go here really quick. And here we get to see Dredge appearing with a normal boat. His boat it has the same the same sculpture of the Kraken in the front, like we saw in the cards. And he's attacking the boat of the Paladins. He wants the glove because he knows it contains great power and he wants it. So apparently he doesn't he's not cursed or anything. He he just wants power. That's it. And like she says it on the video, um, on open water, Dredge is like the ultimate, he's like the king. Nobody can stand against him. And then here we get to see, for the first time, his weapon, which look like to be like small little barrels that shoot. And I would suppose that it would do some sort of small little explosions. But uh, let's just continue really quick. You get to see the weapon, you get to see the, the glove that later on he uses to supposedly, you know, either summon a dragon or try to control it, or the dragon just felt like somebody had the power and it was time to meet his master. But his master, apparently, is not strong enough, and as such, he attacks Dredge, as you can see here. He also has a spear. I do not believe this spear will be in-game, unfortunately. These are the, the little plates on his gloves that I was mentioning before. They're not mechanical devices. They're nothing. They're just that. And... So we see Dredge going into the deep waters after being completely just 
he got murdered, his boat got completely destroyed because of the dragon. He couldn't he didn't have enough power to survive to it or even control it. And when hitting on the deep waters, we get to see these eyes here. This is the Kraken. And the Kraken apparently has supernatural powers that bring him back to life. Weird thing to think that he has like a Kraken skull sculpture on his boat, like, hey, man, I rule the ocean, right? I, I, I can even kill the Kraken. And oh, the Kraken actually revives him. Who would have thought th about that? Now, this picture right here, the first thing that I thought about seeing this picture is the background on the Twitter of Paladins. This is the picture that is there, right? The open sky, some, some uh, clouds, the broken moon, and the aurora kind of green st uh, style on the sky. And we get to see the boat coming out because the Kraken helps it up, pulls it back out of the ocean together with our final stage dredge. Now... On this dredge, we get to see some different things. He has a weapon being completely changed. It has this, like a small little kraken on the weapon. I would suppose this is going to be like active, like a real life small little kraken, and maybe giving power to the weapon itself, a little bit more power. I would suppose. I'm not entirely sure though. And we also get to see this. This here, I would suppose, this is like the teleportation thingy. Maybe he got this pain from uh, this uh, this power. Sorry about that. This power from the Kraken. We get to see the the flags being turned out. And this is what I was mentioning before that the boat somehow was changed. The boat was like cursed, and it is. He may be completely alone as of right now. And we get to see also like a, this looks like to be a hole on his chest. Maybe he's he is like I said, he is an undead. His vests, his robes are completely the same, and he's completely blue skin, like glowing. All right. Even this now has the form of the kraken. I wouldn't know if this was here before, but I think this was not. And we get to go back here. You don't see it over there. See it. There's not that mechanical device over there. Uh, and in here we get to see it. So I would suppose this is going to be the teleportation technique sort of um, power, uh, the source of its power, basically. And uh, yeah, Dark Tides. I will hope they don't get copy striked by, uh, by Disney because they're using the logo. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, now we get to see a little bit more about it. We get to know a little bit more about it. And basically, this is what is saying here. The eight oceans could not claim him. Admiral Dredge has returned. And so then there's just a few free, free things you can unlock. If you don't know what that is, just go into the Paladin's YouTube channel. And uh, on every video that they have, this, this is here. You can just get uh, free stuff like how, uh, horses and so on. But yeah, guys, that's all for this. Um, the lore is amazing. Uh, I gotta be honest, they, even though it's a different type of animation, it's like not a real moving animation, just pictures, like zooming in and out, like I usually do on my videos as well, you've probably seen it. Um, they're still really, really cool. Um, I like the story, at least for now, and there's one thing just that I want to mention before we go. Um, back on the stream of the last developer update, there were questions and stuff like that. And people asked if these three skins of Moji, Shaoling, and Furia were related to the lore. And now apparently we get to see that they are. It's weird because I would never imagine them using skins as a part of lore. Because technically speaking, they have different voices. They have different personalities. And it's like we're escaping the reality. Either this is them, like, in an older stage, like, in really far, like, ahead in the future. Or I don't know why they did this. But to be really honest, it is cool and intriguing. Maybe it's different realms, as far as, far as we know. Imagine that there's different realms and maybe Dredge is on a different realm of the one that we've been so far. Yeah, I know that this is a complicated theory already. Um, before anything else is appearing... Although, I gotta be honest, they either messed up, they just wanna, hey, you know, let's just put the skins there just to make it cool. Or, that's exactly what I'm talking about, and pretty much like the zombies, multiverse, multiverse, um, this will happen as well. I'm not entirely sure if that's it, 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 if it is that or not, but if it is, that's awesome. That's really, really awesome, and I'm loving the work that Hyrus is doing right now. 
Uh, thank you so much for presenting this lure to us, ladies and uh, ladies and gentlemen back there at high risk. And um, that's all for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope we get to see this glove in the future, but for now, that is all. See you guys next time. Have a wonderful time, and I'm out. Bye-bye, guys.